Seth. Hey. How you doing, man? Good. You miss me already? Oh, yeah, sure, man. You grew right, right under my skin. <laughs> How you doing? All right. Did you ever read the book Seth Speaks? No, but I know of it. I know of the book. <laughs> oh, you must read it. You must read it, man. Yeah? Is it good? I've been told that before. It says a lot. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll put that on my list. You know, it's funny. I it's a special. Well, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I, um, when I, when I reached out to to Neil's family, Jamie told me I should read the first third, and I told her I didn't want to because I didn't want it to affect how I think. Like I, I don't want this, you know, belief that I I'm reincarnated from him. And if I read the book, then I'm gonna like pick up on mannerisms and shit like that, and I didn't want it. So I am. That makes that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Man. I can't read it. Like I, I want to, but I know it'll just ruin. It'll ruin me. I'll, I'll be, I'll be in his head so much more if I read that book that it's just not even worth it. <laughs> you know, Kesey once said uh, that all great books must be written and not read. Oh wow! And I was like, well, "What do you mean by that?" No, I get it. And he said, "He's yeah." He said, "Well." If you're well read, then you're speaking other people's opinions. Ooh, nice. Yeah. No. And he said, if you're if you're street smart and experienced, yeah, then you are you're truly wise. Yeah. No, I get so, that. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> and that coming from a novelist was pretty unique. Yeah, exactly. I mean, considering his his history, that's that's quite a thing for for him to say. Well, he wasn't a big reader, and I think it was. Basically, an excuse. <laughs> well, well, that's that's amazing to me because when I I read One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest before I watched it, which was mm -hmm. just a, a blessing because the book itself is a masterpiece. I'm so glad I read it first because Definitely. it was it it just blew my mind how well he wrote. Oof. I mean, the movie was great. Too. Yeah, oh, it was. It was in its own right. Yep. But you know what? Keezy kept trying to get the the playwright. To, uh, the, I mean, the screenwriter mm. to make it the way Keezy wanted. He wanted us to be the big Indian, us the crowd that watches. Wow! Yeah, yeah. So in other words, the basketball scene. We see the basketball in our hands. Yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah. The net. You know, I so, bet. I bet it was more difficult to make a film like that with the technology then, because cameras were so yeah. big. You could make it right. from that perspective now, because you could just have a teeny camera. Like, you know, POV, but that's, yeah. that's interesting. Wow. Yeah, it would have been a whole different story. He also wanted, um, he also wanted um, us to uh, uh, have it so that in the end, you know, the, 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 the water machine was Nurse Ratchet's alter ego. Hmm. The way Easy wrote it. In other words, they all hated the water machine because there were forced hot baths and cold yeah, baths. And, yeah, yeah, I remember. Right? Yeah. It was a torture. It was a torture mechanism. Yeah, and there, there was a red light on that thing that would intensify when it was torturing somebody. <laughs> it would become dull when it wasn't. <laughs> and so he figured, he figured at the end, all of them should tear the thing out of the floor. And yes, the Indian throws it through the window, but all of them, as oh. a group effort, oh wow, tear it out. That would have been so much more powerful. Wow, yeah. Because it was almost unbelievable. Like, I, I, I actually read it for a class called Literature of Mysticism and Madness in in uh -huh. college. And so we, we didn't just read it. We discussed it afterwards. And it always, she's always like, well, it was the strength of the Indian. And I was just logistically like, can any human really just do that? Like, it would make more sense if it was just a group of people moving that gigantic thing. But... But either way, it's a masterpiece. <laughs> I think it was more symbolic because the Indian thought he was a small person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that's what she talked about in class. I, I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you're right. No way could one person of any strength pull that thing out of the floor. Yeah. But, it, it, you know, it's, uh, you know, they didn't listen to Ken. They did it their <laughs> way, which is fine. It worked all right, you know. Good movie. Yeah, no, it was a great movie, but it was a better. But it was one of those those things where if you if you had the book in your mind first, you could enjoy the movie. But it was, 
I'm, I'm glad I didn't do it reversed. <laughs> hey, listen, Seth, my, my, my friend here is taking a nap, and I think she's bothered by me talking. Okay. Can I call you back later on? Yeah, Can absolutely. You later on? Yeah, I'll be around. I'll call you back then. Okay, take I'll care. I'll call you back then, man. It's all good. Bye, man. Bye. Bye.